day 105. Okay. Just caught up a call with my coach. And um, it was a good session. I think we are unraveling another little piece to the puzzle. Um, uh, yeah, it's been interesting. And then yesterday session I had with my client, like, I guess like two sessions back to back with like aha moments, which is really cool. And I always appreciate, I love when coaching sessions offer that, um, aha moments on how we are influenced through our mindset and, um, like influenced by society, influenced by our external environment of like how, um, you know, how we, we, we like subconsciously and consciously create certain realities in our lives based, based on those influences. And so in my stories, I had spoken about uh, the idea of how, um, you know, like accepting, like, how would you feel if you were to accept money from a significant other or like a partner or even family? And how would that feel in your body? How would that feel for you? Is that something that you would be able to accept and receive? Or is that something that you would feel guilty, ashamed about how does that come up for you? And I'm not saying like, oh, no, here's like, not the here's 20 bucks, like kind of thing, like, but to actually receive support from. And so to really dive deep into this question, like, let's say you lost your job, or you are building your own business. And, you know, they're like, your partner has offered you or your family has offered you to support you from that time being. How would that feel for you? Would you be able to accept it or not? Because sometimes we equate our, well, actually a lot of times we equate our worth and who we are as a person to money, but money is just a tool. It's just an object. And so we've been conditioned by society to like to have that correlation. And this goes way back. This goes way back. Like not only is it like present in this day and age of like how much negativity there is around that of having support. Like if you're a woman and you have your husband or your partner supporting you or, you know, you're considered a gold digger or, you know, like the term sugar daddy and those things have negative connotations. And but vice versa, if you're like the opposite gender and you have like your man who has a woman and, you know, like sugar mama, like that's like more of a jokingly way. Um, but then there's also like you can be considered weak because you're a man, you're not making your own money and your wife or your girlfriend is supporting you. And so we have these like narratives that get played out in our external environment that for some reason it makes it not okay for a partner to be supporting one another, whether it's a short term or for the rest of their life. And so what is really wrong with that? Um, if uh, both sides are okay with it and if you yourself are okay with it as well, why would that make it something that is wrong? And cause it's like, it feels like we've gone from like very extremes. Like if you really go way back to seeing like, where did this all started? And you go back to, um, you know, the times where women did stay at home and they were taken care of like by, you know, the man of the house. And so the man went off to work. So yes, there was moments that, you know, the fact that women didn't get to vote or work, like, yeah, those are like shitty things that they didn't have those freedoms. But who are we to say around that time if they were actually oppressed or who are we to say if that was actually a bad time? We're looking at like from our perspective, from this perspective, that during that period, it was a horrible period for women. But was it actually really? How do we really know? And maybe it was horrible for some people, but maybe it wasn't horrible for others. And so I think there's so many different perceptions and different way of seeing things that if you're like, if you are accepting, you know, money from someone you know, to support you short term, long term, or whatever it is, it's not necessarily a bad thing. As long as both parties 
is in good energy and it comes in you know like a good understanding that there is no guilt that there is no expectation of like okay like you know kind of like i give this to you but you have to do this for me like or whatever it is it's like as long as there's something mutually that makes it okay so this is just to like expand your mind and expand your perception around when it comes to money and being able to be open to receive now does that mean i'm saying like oh you know start going asking your partner for money no not necessarily it's just more like being open to receive of different ways that money can come to you and by opening up that channel and knowing that your worth is not necessarily is actually not associated with money at all and that you are worthy you were born worthy like it's not something that our worth is not associated to anything in our external environment and not even we're all worthy we were all born this worthy and so accepting money accepting gifts from others opens up that receiving channel to be able to receive more to come into your life and if you have this guilt of not being able to accept it then this is something that you can dive deep and look into as to why you're feeling that way and so to slowly start unraveling that part so that you can open that channel and so that you can create the energetics like the energy for money to be able to come to you so i wanted to share that with you let me know if you found this interesting um, what are your thoughts on this? And uh, feel free to share in the comments. And if you like this video, please like it or share it. I appreciate it all. And thanks so much. So this is day 105 and I will see you tomorrow for day 106. Bye.